What's going on everybody? My name is Deshaun Drummond and I want to welcome everyone to the intro of the God Made Millionaire video blog or vlog, use those terms uh, interchangeably. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, literally for the last four or five years. I've been wanting to take the promises of God in the Bible and walk them out in my own life and show others how to walk them out to actually get the huge life God wants us to live. And it just, I want to be clear, the God Made Millionaire uh, way of living is not just about money. Uh, it's just one part of it. Another part is health. I believe God wants us to live a life uh, of health because if you have a bunch of money and you're not healthy, you don't really have the life that God wants. If you have a bunch of money and you know, you're going through a divorce and your family's breaking up or your kids don't know you because you're working so much. It's not the life God wants for you. Uh, at the same time, if you have people attacking you and um, and basically, you know, your reputation is kind of in the mud, uh, but you're making a bunch of money. It's not the way God wants you to operate. So I want to really show everyone as I walk it out how this whole thing works. And I'll tell you, uh, this is kind of how it came to, 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 to be. So I became a Christian close to 12 years ago. And I was from the inner city, East Orange, New Jersey. Uh, one of the worst parts of New Jersey. Really little hope uh, of actually turning a life into something, you know. And what I did was I, somebody told me that, listen, if you take these promises and you believe them, you'll see your life change as you have faith in these promises. So I began to see things happen in my life as I was believing God. And some people, they may have been taught another way to you know, follow God, or they may have just taught, you know, come to church and listen, or they may have taught, been taught, you know, God doesn't want you to have much. Uh, whatever it may be, I saw so many other people uh, who were walking the same walk yet getting different results. Some of them are still with God. Some of them have fallen away from God because they thought it was corny. They didn't really see any benefits. Um, and besides the salvation aspect, which is the most important thing, there's so many benefits that God wants you to have. And the biggest thing is actually knowing them, believing God for them. And so I decided, well, God told me, write a book, you know, uh, because I would see people who had the results and they were either a pastor and, you know, teaching. They were teaching it. And a lot of people couldn't receive the message from the pastor because we have misconceptions and we have, you know, sometimes it's valid. You know, pastors have done some things in the past to make you not so much receive their message when it comes to teaching you about money. So some people can't receive that. And then at the same time, so many of the people that I saw that were actually walking with God, they weren't really giving, I, I wouldn't say they don't give God the credit at all, but I would say it was kind of bridging that gap, uh, you know, walking that line between God and self-help. And what I saw is the way I was living, it was really not self-help. It was the Bible, you know, and it was faith, um, and, you know, you'll see some things, some things change. But long story short, what happened was he said, write a book, call it God Made Millionaire. And um, and I, I kind of had it prepared. I actually had like the first two chapters written because the plan was to take you guys along with me because I'm not a millionaire. So but but I have goals in life that God has put inside of me. And he said, well, if you write this book from the perspective of actually doing it, like starting with nothing, starting, you know, bank account low, bank account overdrawn or, or or no businesses or no, you know what I'm saying? Basically from the beginnings and write about your struggles and your and your journey along the way. When people read it, they'll be able to relate to it a little more than someone who gets to the place and then writes the book from and, and basically writes it from that perspective. I made it. Let me tell you how I made it. So this was to be along the way. So what happened was someone wrote the book, God Made Millionaire, already. And this is not a plug for the book. I haven't read it. I just know somebody wrote it. So then I said, God, well, what am I supposed to do? Because somebody wrote the book. So in this day and age right now, 
where video is so powerful, God has been telling me for the last year, make the God Made Millionaire a video blog and let people come with you along the journey as you show them the same things you're believing for to basically encourage their faith. So now it's not from a perspective of publishing a book later. It's from the perspective of actually letting you into my life, uh, letting you see the struggles, see the challenges, see the blessings, and basically sh um, walking with me. And I want to encourage everyone out there to come along this path with me. Come on, come on the God Made Millionaire path. Because if you come on this path, I promise you that you will see a radical change in your life. Because the promises of God are alive. The Bible is alive. And there's nothing like being a Christian and not believing the Bible. Because you don't see how that word is living. It's alive. And it can actually take, it can work miracles. If you stop believing for miracles, I want you to come on this journey with me. If you're still believing for miracles, let me edify you and, and help sharpen you up by the Holy Spirit, by God's word that he's going to give me to you, because I just want to encourage you. If you, you know, maybe you were a Christian in the past and you like, you know, hey, it wasn't for me. I didn't really see any results from it. Then I invite you to come on with me. If you think Christianity is about being weak and not having much and sacrificing everything and, and living a life of, uh, you know, just rules and regulations. And, and I want you to come on with me. You're going to see grace like you've never seen. You're going to see things happen along this path. And we're going to a big life. So I want everyone to come with me. I know everyone's not going to come. But I, as many people as possible, come with me. And I want to hear about your journey as you see my journey. And, you know, and we're just going to see what God does. I think it's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be, you know, I'm not a guy who was born with a silver spoon uh, in my mouth. I'm, I'm kind of rough. Uh, so here's what I lay the ground rules. And this first one is going to be a little longer because every now, like f moving forward, I'm going to try to keep everything to between three and five minutes just because we'll be doing like, you know, four or five days a week. So I'm not going to do them long. But I want to give you the groundwork so you understand so you know what to expect out of me. I'm not the guy who was born with money. I'm not the guy who went to college and is, or, or you know, book book smart. You know, listen, am I am I smart? I consider myself to be intelligent because God doesn't make anything dumb, you know. But when it comes to me, I feel I can relate to most people. If you're if you've been if you had it hard, I can relate to you. If you you know, were, were, you know, did drugs in the past, I can relate to you. If you've been on the street, I can relate to you. If you've had nothing, been at the bottom, below nothing, I can relate to you. Um, you know, and, and I think that's the beauty of it. I didn't want to do this for so long. I fought this for so long because I didn't want to fail God on this thing. I didn't want to put my hand to something and then just be like, ah, right, you know what, man, forget it. So, and I didn't feel I was qualified <laughs> to, who am I, you know, to talk to people. But God said, listen, that's how, like, anybody could take a guy who is sharp and well-read and well-spoken and studied all of this and, 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 and show him how to become this big person. It's kind of an expected path. No one expects a rose to come out of the concrete. So... I think that's why he had me do it. And I think that's why he wants greatness from you is because he wants to show that I use imperfect people. I use people that are messed up. I use people that have like different, <laughs> different things with them and they got some dirt with them and they came from hard and they, they, you know, they hurt a couple people. They killed a couple people and they, <laughs> listen, I, I'm, I'm telling you, God can use anyone and he wants to use the people that society has written off, use the people who weren't born with resources and means and he wants to turn your life into something because you can become a spokesperson for him and the kingdom to win more children to the kingdom of God which is what God wants so um this is going to be everywhere it's going to be on Facebook Instagram YouTube uh I will start doing some Snapchat uh, <laughs> this is not going to be super edited just so you know I will start doing some Snapchat stuff and um you know, and we just want to change lives. That's all it is. I just pray that God can use me in some way 
to change lives out there and to make things bigger. And I'm going to learn a lot as I go with you guys. Trust me, I'm not an expert on anything. I'm not an expert on the Bible. I know a couple things, but it's going to be God's work. So join me. Come with me on the God Made Millionaire journey. And I guarantee it's going to be something like, like you've never experienced in your life. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on episode one tomorrow.